Today we're making another crumble copycat cookie recipe and this has got to be the most requested recipe that I have received. Today we're making breakfast in cookie form you guys. We are doing the waffle cookie. What is up you guys? It is Carly here and you're officially cooking with Carly and today we're doing the waffle cookie. And I have to say that I have been making copycat crumble cookie recipes for, I don't even know, it's been like almost six months now. And the one I get over and over and over and over and over again is the waffle cookie. But obviously I needed to wait until crumble had the waffle cookie so I could try it, taste it, dissect it, so I could recreate it for you. The waffle cookie itself is kind of like a sugar cookie, but we've got a lot of vanilla in there, brown sugar mostly instead of the white sugar like a sugar cookie, and it actually looks like a waffle, and I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. But once it's warm right out of the oven, you top it with some really thick vanilla buttercream that looks like a dollop of butter, and then you drizzle it with a whole lot of maple syrup, this is a cookie you're going to need to eat with a fork, and it's so good. Buckle up. All right, so let's talk about our ingredients for the waffle cookie. We have butter, our sugars here, brown sugar more so than the white sugar, granulated sugar. We've got some vanilla, eggs, all-purpose flour, and baking powder. Now, these exact ingredient amounts are on my website, cookingwithcarly.com. You can go into the description below. There's a link there. It'll take you right to the recipe. You can print it out then you can make this at home. To start, we are going to cream together the butter and sugars until it's nice and smooth and creamy. Smell like butter. Don't put that in. <laughs> Butters are in, and now the sugars. We're going to start slow and then bring it up to about medium speed. Now that that is all mixed together and creamy, we're going to add in our eggs and vanilla. I think I can crack two eggs at one time, one in each hand. We only got like one shell in there. It is quite the shell. And our vanilla. We're going to mix this all together until it's nice, creamy, mix, combined, smooth. You know, you know the drill. And lastly, our dry ingredients. So the flour and the baking powder will go in. We'll mix this until the dough forms. Start slow so the flour doesn't all explode out. I feel like every time you say that, you need to like put the video of me like in the corner, like doing it fast and going. Start slowly so we don't. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I just did the wrong one. I was trying to lock the lid. <laughs> Our cookie dough is done. It's nice and soft. It's not sticky at all. It's kind of like the texture of Play-Doh. So that's what we're looking for. I'm going to go grab cookie sheets. I'm gonna scoop these out and get them in the oven. We are going to use a one third of a cup measuring cup to scoop out our dough. We're going to use a generous one third of a cup for each cookie. So make sure you really pack it in there full with a little bit of extra. We're going to form it into a ball and then flatten it to about how flat you want your finished cookie to be. These won't spread all that much. So flatten it out till it's about the size of your finished cookie. It will spread slightly, not a whole bunch though. And then to make it look like a waffle, here's my secret. My secret is a wooden spoon. And we're just going to use the back of the wooden spoon to 
press a grid into the cookie dough. So I do four across and then four perpendicular. Just like that to make it look like our waffle. And we will just arrange these on our cookie sheet. Six will fit onto each cookie sheet and this will make 12 waffle cookies. So I'm just going to get you scooping, rolling, pressing, get them in the oven. These are ready for the oven. They're going to go into a preheated 375 degree oven and they're going to bake for about 10, 12 minutes. And you know that they're ready to come out when they start turning a nice golden brown and they don't look wet and glossy in the centers anymore. So I'm gonna to go toss these in the oven and I'll see you in a sec. While our waffle cookies are in the oven baking, like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, notification bell, because I'm coming out with a crumble copycat cookie recipe every single week. And if you stick around on Mondays, I will post taste tests where you can go and actually vote for which cookie you want me to recreate. So if you want a voice in the new cookies, watch those videos, comment. You can comment below on this one too and let me know if you have any special requests and I'll get you on my ever growing list. Okay, the waffle cookies are out of the oven. They've been cooling for about five, 10 minutes. I'm salivating, I'm so excited for this. Now it's time to make this vanilla buttercream, but look at how good these look. So the vanilla buttercream, wow, I need to get organized here. It's just butter, some powdered sugar, vanilla, and then we have some milk if need be. We want this buttercream to be thick, okay? Like butter. So we are going to scoop it on top. So we're going to start by creaming our butter, just getting it mixed together, mixing around in our bowl, and then we'll slowly add in this powdered sugar. Need to get it all soft and smooth. Now we're going to slow the speed down and start adding in this powdered sugar a little bit at a time. I'm just letting it combine and mix in with the butter. If it's having a hard time mixing in with the butter, this is why we have our little bit of milk here. Just a titch of milk and it will start to come together a lot faster for you. I'm going to add in our vanilla now to help this powdered sugar mix in. Slow it down, add in some more powdered sugar. All right, last of our powdered sugar. It's going to go in. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of milk. I'm just gonna scrape the sides and then mix it one last time and then we will top our cookies. All right, this is looking perfect. So I'm just going to grab out my cookie scooper. Isn't this so cute? Back when I made like normal sized cookies, this thing got a lot of work, not anymore, but I'm gonna use it today. And we're going to just put a little dollop of this buttercream onto our cookie here, and then we're going to drizzle it with some syrup and it's done, it's time to eat. I need to tell you, do not drizzle syrup on these until you are ready to serve, ready to eat this. And if you know it's later in the day and your cookie is cooled down, just pop this in the microwave for like 10 seconds and then it'll be nice and warm. The buttercream will be a little bit melty, you can spread that around and then top it with syrup and then eat it. Like a pancake or waffle <laughs> with a fork. So these are nice, warm and ready for some syrup. You all have asked for this recipe, so here it is for you. So make sure to get on it and make these soon and let me know how you like them. I am excited to eat this and I'm excited for you to eat it also. Okay, now the taste test. Okay, here we go. Gotta get some of this buttercream because that is where the magic happens. Okay, okay, here we go. Oh boy.
nice and soft. Mm hmm. That's good, folks. Tastes just like a waffle. Speechless. I'm gonna have some. <laughs>